welcome back to the tarot cottage my name is amy i'm back today with a pick a card reading for you um, and i just want to say welcome back to my beautiful subscribers i hope you guys all had a wonderful long weekend um, i had a great time with my family with my daughters my husband so i hope you all had a great weekend no matter what you celebrate um and i just want to say thank you to everybody who has entered in my contest for a free reading i have chosen my winner um, i am tagging her below in this video and i'm going to make this a monthly draw so i'm going to choose monthly from the comments in my videos for that month i'm going to choose a few people to give some free readings to so be sure to um, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be able to be notified if you are the winner and to leave a comment below if you feel called to on any of my videos throughout the next month to be entered for your chance to win um, so if you found yourself here for the very first time, please join us. I do pick a card readings on this channel. So pull up a chair and grab yourself a cup of tea or some snacks and we'll have a little chat because we all are friends when we gather here at my table. So today's pick a card, we're looking at um, a no contact situation in your life and we're asking what's going on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it happening? What's going on in this connection? Why is it in no contact? Um, and what are their current feelings for you? So I do have three piles for you to choose from today. We have pile number one um, with the uh, green button, the black obsidian stone, and this is the cat tarot here for pile one. Pile number two with the pink button, the rose quartz stone, and I believe this deck is I'll have to look to see what the the, <laughs> the name of this deck is. Very vibrant, beautiful deck. Pile number three with the purple button, this is a red jasper and this is the golden girls tarot so whichever pile or piles are calling out to you just know that there may be a message waiting for you today from spirit um, i'm going to jump right into pile number one i am going to give a very quick disclaimer about people um posing as the tarot cottage in my comment section offering um, readings through whatsapp i do not offer readings through whatsapp at all so please protect yourselves don't give out your money to people that are trying to take advantage of you um, but i'm going to jump right into pile number one again today is a no contact reading what is going on why is it no contact and what are their current thoughts pile one hello everybody in pile number one you are drawn to the black obsidian here or perhaps to the little green <laughs> button um, and this is your reading no contact situation that you find yourselves in what is going on in this connection so what's going on in this connection that's what we're going to look into right now we'll also pull some cards to see how they're currently feeling about you what is going on why is this a no contact please spirit so we have the eight of pentacles the ace of swords the ace of pentacles and the hanged man hmm what is happening in this connection there is a message coming through already that a lot of you are really fed up because there's a sense of like actions speak louder than words and this person's actions are very indicative of in action <laughs> we do have the king of cups on the back of the deck the issue though is that for some of you watching and this is perhaps a specific message is that this person it's like you're already in this like emotionally you have invested like you don't know how to separate yourself from this emotional connection at this point that's the king, the world card clarifying the ace of swords no contact what is going on the three of cups the death card i love the death card in this deck because it's a vacuum and i think that that's really funny clarifying the hanged man what's going on in this no contact situation we have the three of swords wow okay back of the deck is the star and we have the queen of cups so we have some pretty strong energies here with both the queen and the cup queen and the king i saw the king earlier um, of cups it's the divine masculine the divine feminine but they haven't presented on the same board so i feel like they are the complete no set no contact separation here and even the queen she's sleeping so it's been a while <laughs> of not being able to see this person trying to maintain this hope in the situation this star card is aquarius energy um 
and you can see the cats trying to like bat it's like the hopefulness that represents that glass of, wa of water. It's either half full or it's half empty. But here it's being batted very carelessly about to go over that edge. So there's a little bit of hopelessness that is starting to set in because again, this queen of cups is trying to be, is trying to be logical, even though that's not her, her agenda. <laughs> she is not used to that. She is not comfortable in that wheelhouse. And so she's trying to cling to logic and say, you know, if, if this person truly wanted to contact me, they would. And because they aren't, I'm, you know, I, I need to think clearly about this. Um, there is a message coming through for some of you with the three of cups, the three of swords, that there may be a third party situation involved here, which is really holding up this reunion, which is really holding up this shift in um, this connection that we're looking for. And as well with the death card here at the Ace of Pentacles, it talks about that desire to communicate, to create a new beginning. Like in the present moment, this person really wants to create a new beginning. They want that reunion. Um, but again, something is holding them up. Let's get some clarity there, spirit, please, with the hanged man energy. That hanged man is something that we can overcome. We have that this cat has the power to come down from that position. It doesn't have to maintain that ridiculous position. It has more power to overcome this sadness than it realizes, but it's about the inaction. Let's clarify that hanged man, please. We have the eight of cups. Yeah. There is, and here's the tower energy back of the deck. A lot of confusion for this person and trying to avoid disaster. I do feel some of you um, may be in disconnect because this person is in another situation because they are acknowledging that in order to create movement here, they'd have to walk away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling them, but that could still cause a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, and a lot of sadness here with perhaps a third party. This page of cups has a new emotional beginning to offer, but there's holes in that spoon. It lacks a little bit of something. And then we have the seven of pentacles, which talks about the patience or perhaps the impatience that's brewing up as a result of this. So I do feel like there could be um, another responsibility at play here. Somebody is very much focused on their responsibilities too. So let's clarify that um, death card, please. King of Swords. And the Four of Cups. The Ten of Cups. So there could very much be a, a family unit in place for some of you. There is just because of the death cards, like I've, it's like I've made my choice. I've made a bed and I'm lying in it now. Um, I desire a change of state, but because, and I know where my happiness perhaps leads, but I'm trying to be, I'm trying to see things clearly. And unfortunately they aren't because this four of cups is a real state of, of apathy. It's a real state of sadness. I'm not focusing on the, what I could potentially make moves towards, but I'm really focused on what I've lost. And if the focus is so intent that I can't see what I even have sitting right in front of me, which could be this, again, this family unit. I don't see that as, as a positive. I'm so focused. And the King of Swords is here for us to rise above that. To, to rise us above this emotional state so we can see everything clearly. Whoops, sorry about that. But we also have this five of wands here. So sometimes when I see the five of wands, there's a little bit of immaturity associated with that because it's lower level vibrations of jealousy and, and obstacles that I, you know, it's like competition. There could be a reason for them to feel jealous about your situation as well. No contact wise. Let's clarify the three of swords, please. High Priestess, the Ace of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Back of the deck is the Fool here with the Strength card. Um, you know, this Three of Swords, this, I was looking at this cat and he's kind of cheeky. He's, he's got a very flirtatious, careless attitude towards the pain that's maybe involved here. 
and yet and there's an acknowledgement here of wanting to get you know secretly wanting to give a new beginning but again with this card this ace of cups it's cloaked in rain that dragonfly the hope that exists for transformation here has already been through so much obstacle just to make it to the rim of the cup and now it's raining i feel like it's been a very long disconnected period for you for some of you weeks months years i almost want to say for somebody watching decades a decade or more already been through so much they've survived the toad survived the praying mantis survived the the treacherous climb up from beneath that water and then there's the five of swords it's like nobody's going to be a winner in this situation unless i take action an acknowledgement that pain will be per, will be present no matter what action they take in the future but let's switch shift gears here a little bit and look into their current feelings about you how are they currently feeling about you? What are their current feelings, their true thoughts? What are their current thoughts? How are they currently feeling? Queen of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. What are their current feelings? The Hanged Man. And the Ten of Wands. We also have the Four of Wands here. And that Four of Wands can really reflect. We have Two of Swords underneath that. And I just saw the Devil can really reflect a decision having to be made. And the Four of Wands can be a relationship and marriage in place. So take that as it resonates. But it's the knowledge of their feelings for you that causes a lot of, of burden for them. They are trying to cling to logic again they're trying it's like they're trying to make the best out of a situation they're trying to there's a <laughs> there's a message coming through my head you know that old song that says if you can't be with the one you're the one you love love the one you're with and that's what i'm seeing they're trying to make the best out of the situation because this queen of swords is clinging to logic but there's a coldness about her as i go about my work um I'm going about my work with logic as a leader. It's, undriving, it's a driving force in me as I go about my work and at the cost of my emotional happiness, perhaps, because the Ten of Swords talks about letting go. Their logic is telling them that they need to let go, but there's something that still pulls on them and doesn't allow that to happen. They can't seem to escape this connection, even if they know or they're trying to make themselves believe that, that they should they're not prepared to put any of those feelings down here because again they're still maintaining that hope even if they kind of um teeter-totter between hopelessness and hope you know will that cup fall over will it not is the glass half full is it half empty they're still trying to maintain that hope and again her heart's already in it her heart's already in that hmm let's get some messages from this person Messages for group one, please. How's this person currently feeling about this no contact situation? What else can you tell us? Will you choose me? There are options here. There are options that this person has. And, you know, that's reflecting. Where did it go? <laughs> it's on my other deck. Um, that two of swords energy that we saw here on the back of that deck with that two of swords. There are options here for this person. Having to walk away again from something that isn't fulfilling them. I want a fresh start with you. And I need more balance. The two of pentacles. I need more balance. I've got a lot of responsibilities. I'm juggling my feelings and my reality. And emotionally, they need more balance. As much as they try to focus on tangible things, they still... They can't ignore their emotions forever. I am absolutely in love with you. That is like the Six of Cups for me. We have the Ace of Swords on the back of this deck, which really speaks about that clarity that's come in for them during this time of disconnect. Um, it's like that sense with the Vulture Spirit on the back of my one animal oracle. It's, you know, nothing is wasted during this time or nothing can, should be wasted during this time of disconnect. Focusing on the past does not serve us, but being present in the moment and and looking at the past as a learning tool is all we can really 
take away from the past because otherwise it's dead and gone. How does this person currently feel? I'm not used to a connection like this, so I ran. I, I The intensity. And I don't know if some of you will re resonate with the, the fact that perhaps this person is a bit of a playboy. And again, I say playboy as a generality because I, it's about energy. They can be a female and have that same energy. But I'm just focused on that three of swords. It's a card about disconnect and sadness and disappointment. But this one looks like they're very comfortable causing that pain. <laughs> the thought of explaining myself and apologizing scares me. I don't want to see the pain I've caused in your eyes, perhaps because of a decision I made. In the past, their insecurities, it's almost the sense of in the past, their insecurities wouldn't allow them to reveal themselves. And so they chose an easier path because they there was less to lose there emotionally. I was in denial and I've been sending messages in the 5D. Back of the deck says they've been having dreams of you. How is this person currently feeling? The, yeah, they've definitely been dreaming about you. The dream, something is revealed, insight and breakthrough in their dreams. Again, that sense of nothing being wasted. They've gained clarity apprehension though making it says moving out into the world doubt and fear um <laughs> we have the world card right here <laughs> it, they're they're apprehensive about it which is why that world is in the recent past position they've been thinking about movement back of the deck says intuitive communication and they have been sending you messages in the 5d there let's get a couple more messages from this person if they could say anything what would they say right this moment how are they feeling can we try again? Is it possible? I want to call you. Would you answer if you knew it was me on the other end? I gave you the impression that I did not care, but that was a lie. Oh, I want to make you my spouse one day. Where have you been? They feel like they've missed, again, it feels like years. Like they feel like they've missed out on all of these things that happened to you in your life. Third party interference. I think about you every damn day. And I'm afraid that you won't like the person that I have become. They feel like they've grown, they've changed, and they don't know how you would receive the new them. That smile, though, there's something incredibly um, alluring about your smile. That's something they focus upon. Um, I pretend I don't care, but I do is on the back of that deck. Let's get a charm bowl for you, group one. Charm bowl for group one. Why is this in no contact? What can you tell us about this person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions? Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords, and we have the Empress in the bowl. So the Empress is that Divine Feminine. She is abundance overall. There could be a parent. You could be a parent. There could be children involved in this connection in the mix um, for some of you. She does represent being put on a pedestal though. And again, this person has had nothing but time to clarify who you are to them and the importance of this connection. And all that's done is it's... They're trying to cling to logic with the Queen of Swords. She's sometimes very cold in her outward appearance, um, but she is paramount about truth. She's wielding that sword of justice. And we have the Knight of Wands in the future position, which is movement in the future here. Um, in the future, you also have this six, I'm completely in love with you, which is like the Six of Cups, which is a reunion in the future. So this, for some of you, there could be um, a reunion in the work. Take that out of resonance. He's also a card that reminds us to pursue our desires, to pursue truth, to pursue justice. Q and Y in the bowl. We also have the letter T. We have the screw in the bowl, and I think of sexual energy when I see that charm. We also have the big lipstick, which is, again, something alluring. We have somebody likes to really take care of themselves, and they put a lot of effort into their appearance. 
We have the Divine Feminine here in the bowl with the, with the starfish. She's got a lot of healing to do, and that takes time, but Spirit is letting us know through this charm that that is completely possible and we can do it. We also have this um, little fairy with the star and the moon. And that's a symbol for me of somebody who thinks that they're hoping for something that's already sailed or wishing for something that seems impossible. We have the hatchet because of breakups. And we have the airplane. I think you're physically far apart, perhaps. We also have the guitar pick. Perhaps songs you hear really remind you of this person. All right, group number one, that is what I have for you today. Um, what's going on in this no contact situation? Why is it in no contact? What are they feeling right this moment? If this resonated with you, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to subscribe to our channel and join our little family here. Um, I'm going to be offering a chance to win a free reading with me on a monthly basis. So if you're a subscriber and you leave a comment, um, be sure to hit the notification bell so that if you are chosen the winner, I can contact you and we can get that going for you. So um, otherwise, I hope that you guys come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope that you have a great day. Take care. Hello everybody in pile number two, you were drawn to the rose quartz or perhaps to this little pink button. Um, and this is your reading, um, the no contact situation you find yourselves in, what is going on? Why is it a no contact? How are they currently feeling? Um, you guys chose the light seers tarot. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of it before, but it is the light seers tarot. So what's going on in this no contact situation? Why? What's happening? Why is it in no contact? We have the three of cups. We could be dealing with a friendship here. It doesn't have to be a love reading. And that's important for me to mention. I should have mentioned that at the, at the beginning, but this doesn't have to be a romance reading. And the three of cups can really represent a friendship. Maybe this is a friendship that you wanted to turn into more, but Paramount, it is about reunions, the desire for that. Why is this in no contact? It can also talk about, you know, there being too many cooks in the kitchen as well. So we'll see what the surrounding cards look like. Why is this in no contact? What is going on? Five of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. And we have the strength card here, Leo energy back of the deck is the four of cups. You know, there's already a strong message coming in that somebody feels like they ousted themselves. Um, they created, they're taking responsibility and they created this disconnect. Um, and it could be because of the interference of somebody. So let's see, let's clarify that three of cups, please. Okay. So we have the four of pentacles and we have the moon. So, Hmm. I'll be clarifying that one more time because there's m multiple messages coming in for that. And I mean, it's important for me to mention that this is a collective reading. So I'm getting multiple messages for multiple different people watching. Um, so there's multiple scenarios I'm being represented to me. Clarifying the five of pentacles. What's going on in this no contact situation, please. Okay. Wow. We've got some big energies. The hermit the judgment card here what's going on in this no contact situation and spirit just keeps giving me knight of wands reversed multiple cards here um the knight of cups and clarifying the strength card please what is going on in this no contact situation the empress Back of the deck is the death card with the nine of wands. Wow. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's uh, some pretty strong <laughs> major arcana for this reading. I just wanted to adjust you a little bit so you guys could see the cards more clearly. Um, so what is going on in this connection? Why is it in disconnect? Well, we're starting with the death card here. So it's obvious that this is in the middle of a shift or it has been shifted. Um, and the nine of wands, you know, this shift may have happened a long time ago. It just feels like somebody has been wanting something more, wanting a revisit to this connection for a really long time. But like I said, there's this, this message coming in 
that's talking about how my actions are the reasons why this is causing this disconnect. So this person is really taking responsibility for um, what happened here. And for some of you watching, I feel like they may have started communicating with other people. That's a message coming through. And that was the cause of the, dis the disconnect because I pursued something without a forethought of what that would mean in the future. I gave into some very base level instincts with this Knight of Wands reversed. Um, it's like impulsivity. The Knight of Cups goes rushing in. There's very impulsive actions there. And I've had time during this disconnect, during this feeling of, of separation from you to really reflect upon what those actions, why I made them and, and there's like a self-reflection period that happened for this person and they're understanding acutely why they made the choices that they made, but they also really want to express that it wasn't because of you or your value. And at the time you may have really encompassed that and really embodied that feeling. Um, it really created a burden for you an emotional toll on you, but they're, they really, they have really self-reflected. There's a lot of clarity, a lot of growth that's happened in this period of disconnect and they are taking responsibility. They're saying there's, it's no excuse, but the reason I behaved this, this, and this way is because of X, Y, and Z, because of something in my past, perhaps my insecurities, my fear that it was stemmed from childhood trauma, whatever the case may be, it bled into their existence. It bled into their relationship with you and they treated it with carelessness. For some of you, this is not somebody with a third party though. Like I said, multiple messages coming through. It's not someone with a third party, but it was there. They still created the disconnect because they were unable to pluck up enough chutzpah to truly tell you their intention, intentions towards you, to truly tell you where their soul lies. They were a friend who just could not express themselves properly or um, productively to you to create the movement that, that you both wanted in the past. They allowed that fear to create the huge distance between them. You can see the huge moon dividing those two wolves. Both of them are, are blocked. They can't see each other. So both of them have um, perspectives that are not completely clear about the situation because there's been no communication about my feelings because I've been too fearful of sharing that. You can see how tightly she's clinging to that handbag because she doesn't want to lose herself or her ego or risk being hurt in any way. But like I said, this person is has reflected upon how their immaturity affected the situation in the past, how their impulsivity, their recklessness um, affected it in the past. And now this judgment card, you know, talks about that self-reflection. It talks about them wanting to make a change that can create more beginnings with you. They want to come back from the dead. <laughs> they want to revisit this connection. They see the value where they didn't show you the value in the past. They see it now. And again, they are taking responsibility here. In the future position, we have the beautiful strength card. We've got lots of um, fire energy here, the Leo energies. Um, but we have the Empress too. There could be children involved in this connection. See her big, beautiful belly here. Um, but it's about pushing through to reveal my intent. Pushing through this. You can see the moon in the imagery of this card too. Pushing through my own fears, my own insecurities, taking off those masks and allowing myself the vulnerability to live in the moment to create this beautiful abundance. A lot of times we hold ourselves back from speaking our truth or we expect negative things in the future because we're setting ourselves up for disappointment so that we're not completely heartbroken when we don't get what we want in the future. But it, that's living, as Brene Brown would say, in an abandonment of joy. And in that way, we are trying to beat vulnerability to the punch. And that's not a way to gain the abundance in life. That's how we maintain this position on the fence, waiting for that 10 to come around, waiting for completion, waiting for this new rebirth. When in actuality, we have to be the ones that push through. And um, the Queen of Swords is wielding that sort of truth, being a leader in that, pushing through these lower level um, insecurities, 
um, immaturity sometimes, <laughs> jealous feelings, the obstacles that are in the way so that we can have what we are looking for here, which is a new beginning, which is emotional security. So it feels like a couple of different scenarios here for multiple people watching. And some, either way, they are taking responsibility for their actions. They're taking responsibility for um, the disconnect. Because even in this Five of Pentacles, the key is outside of the gate. If they were, they just needed time to reflect to see that they are the key that put themselves on the outside of that door. How are they feeling right this moment? They truly feel right this moment. The chariot. Cancer energy. So many major arcana for you today. The four of cups. The moon. The six of swords. Back of the deck is the page of wands with the knight of wands. There is this really strong feeling of wanting to start fresh, wanting to start again. We have the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Wands reversed here. I feel like this person still has a ways to go to gain complete clarity. They are acknowledging now, presently, that, you know, I'm, you know, they're in a state of reflection right now, but they, they still have a little ways to go as far as being able to push past these obstacles. But in the future position, we do have the Six of Swords, which is talking about clarity and the need to reveal my truth. They feel very insecure when it comes to you. They keep pushing down their feelings with that moon again. Very mirrored en energy here too. And the Four of Cups is, a, you know, the Four and the Five of Cups are about not staying present in the moment and realizing what we have presently the opportunities that present not reflecting hard enough perhaps on my position here and that's coming for them the the revelation is coming for them if they are still thrust and in, in the midst of this self-reflection that's coming for them an acknowledgement that in order to create movement we have to stay focused in the present moment that we can't focus on the past because it's dead we can't focus on the future because it doesn't even exist it's not a thing yet we're creating it and we want to create movement which we see in the future here but in the present there's still this stagnated energy that's affecting that back of the deck though page of wands they are inspired they do think a lot about you i just want to clarify um that six of swords please spirit how are they currently feeling they're worse for the wear, the realization of their, of their part in this whole thing and the weight of that on their shoulders, it, it's, it's going to affect them. There's the hermit. It's going to affect them. The hermit twice, there's a loneliness that exists too here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. It's not over is what Spirit is saying. It's not over and this person doesn't think that it's over. If they have intentions of moving towards you in the future, they have intentions of revealing themselves. And they they made this choice a long time ago, or at least in the recent past, they made that decision to reveal themselves to you, to come back towards you. They, you know, the chariot is about decisions, about movement in that direction. It's ruled by cancer, so it can sometimes be a very emotional decision that we're trying to make. But they made that choice to come towards you. They just have to overcome these obstacles, these insecurities, these fears in order to do that. And that's the that's the quite the journey. But the Knight of Pentacles here, back of deck, there's the burden. He makes it to his destination through time, through growth. This person has a bit more growing up to do. In order, to, but we have movement in the future. They have not given up hope on this. Um, they don't think that it's over. Even if you feel like it's over, they don't think that it's over. Hmm. Let's get some messages from this person. How are they currently feeling? How are they currently feeling, please? I can't even look at you right now. For some of you, that's your feelings of this person and how they acted in the past. 
um, very kind of two-folded message here. You feel like you literally, you're still angry. There's still some pain associated with perhaps actions in the past that have led to this disconnect. For others, it's a literal message. You can't see them. There's no contact. If I follow you, I could lose everything. If I follow you, I could lose everything. And there's a, a strong sense of my ego being at risk as well as tangible things. <laughs> my ego is at risk. They focus on very, and that Knight of Wands, that's his focus. We saw that Knight of Wands reversed, you know, I, this person feels like they were perhaps too impulsive when it comes to their desires in the past. And that, that impulsivity is maintaining for them in the present. I want you all the time. Back of the deck says, I don't want to lose you. There's something about this person's energy that makes me feel like they are very... Um, complimentary to sort of avoid the emotional toll that 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 they're feeling they're complimentary I'm so attracted to you you don't know what you do to me to distract from the emotional see they still keep talking about their attraction they have some growing up to do <laughs> some self-reflection it's coming though that's what spirit is saying this person is on a trajectory towards ascension it is coming I can tell you don't trust me I want to change that because of things that happened in the past here. Don't focus on who wants me. I want you. Multiple people involved here. You influence me in ways no one ever has. There is a, an... There is this, this tone, undertone here of like... Um, and I don't want to curse because I don't want you two to like ding me, but... It's like an F-boy energy. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm being subliminal with how I feel about you because again, I lack the emotional maturity perhaps to um, acknowledge, <laughs> you know, the pain that I've caused here. But I feel like there's no denying either. There's no, there's no denying that they caused this pain either, which is why they took responsibility. At least on a spiritual scale, they, they have taken responsibility deep down they know it was their fault i fantasize about you no one knows i still think about you because i keep those feelings so close to my chest i don't want anyone to get hurt could be a third party screaming third party here and i still feel jealous over you back of the deck says i am haunted by us Moonlight goddess, repressed emotions, healing, and reflection. Um, hmm. Repressed emotions. Not wanting to 100% admit their feelings because that's it's like a sign of weakness for them. Thinking of you, a loving thought and serendipity. They have you on their mind right this moment. And then we have moonlight, travel, romance, and potential. There is the moon in this imagery, though. I always focus on that moon. It's such a bright spot. Um, the moon is that reflection about what we're pushing below the surface, um, all of our hidden agendas. And again, they, they want to whisk you off. It's like they want to distract you by a trip. We have the search here, feeling lost, confused, and lonely. And I do feel like that could be your energy coming through here. This person's actions have created that firestorm in you. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There could have been an engagement in place when all of this went down to create the disconnect, or perhaps there is an engagement in place right now. Take it as it resonates. We do have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And like I said, there's movement here in the future position of them intending to come towards you here. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime on the back of that deck. I feel some of you are a little scoffy at that right now. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to even hear that. <laughs> Charm bowl for group two, please. How is this person currently feeling? Why is it no contact? 
we have the page of swords the king of swords and the chariot so this person could have a little grown up to do with that page transcending to the king he is the learner of the deck and he is somebody who is on a path of ascension i feel like this person if you're not in contact with them they are watching you but the page of swords and that king of swords are all about truthfulness being honest with ourselves being honest with our with other people even if it hurts sometimes and paramount being honest with myself in the middle there is chariot can oops i'm sorry cancer energy really strong here this person's more emotional than they like to represent to the world they feel like emotion perhaps is a sign of weakness we have the letter f in the bowl cool <laughs> and you know I don't know if maybe this is the type of personality this person has it's just like nothing affects them it's like they don't you can't get a rise out of them they just think everything's cool it's fine we have the letter F we have um, St. Anthony in the bowl and he's the patron saint of lost things he's holding Je baby Jesus in his arms so there could be children involved here we have the saw here the hand saw I think of slow pain a slow ending or a painful ending we have the screw in the bowl, which is sexual energy. We have believe in love. Some of you are a little bit jaded because of this person's actions. I choose strength. We have Cupid's arrow as well. We have Our Lady Mary in the bowl touching the sacred heart. So there could be a Catholic connection or perhaps the name Mary is very significant. Again, the um, theme of motherhood could be a parent there could be children even involved in this connection take that as it resonates that's definitely not for everyone and we have a commandment from the bible that says thou shalt not make graven images all right group number two that is what i have for you today um, this no contact situation that you find yourselves in what is going on what are some of their current thoughts if this resonated i would love to hear about it in the comment section um, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you feel called to. Um, if you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell, if you leave me a comment, <laughs> I'm going to be making my um, free reading giveaway a monthly thing. So I'll be choosing a winner or winners at the end of each month or the beginning of each month. Um, so be sure if you leave a comment to um, press that notification bell so that you can be notified if you are the winner. The winner of this month's draw is tagged below this video as well. But I hope that you come back and visit me here on another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope that you have a great day. Take care. Hello, everybody. In group number three, you were drawn to this red jasper, or perhaps to this purple button, and or this Golden Girls Tarot, perhaps. But this is your reading, um, the person on your mind, this no contact situation. Why is it in no contact? What is going on? And how are they currently feeling? So what is going on? Why are they in no contact with you? We already have the chariot coming out here as your first reading. I'm sorry, your first card. Why is this in no contact, please, Spirit? We have the hermit. Two major arcana cards here for you. The six of wands. Why is this in no contact, please, Spirit? we have the king of pentacles back of the deck already is the seven of wands and it's reversed so i'm going to turn that around so that we have an upright deck let's clarify the chariot please why is this in no contact the knight of pentacles Five of Wands is coming out with, we have the Three of Pentacles here as well, coming out with the Ten of Wands. We'll keep the Three of Pentacles in mind, um, but let's clarify that Six of Wands. The Three of Pentacles, they wanted to come back out, so let's clarify the King of Pentacles, please. Whoops. Oh, the Eight of Cups. Um, back of the deck is the two of wands with the ten of pentacles 
So what is going on? Why is this in no contact right now? There is a very strong message. First of all, I just want to mention we have Cancer, Virgo, um, Taurus, very strong here, and some fire energy as well. Um, I just like to mention that for people who are curious. It's not that important necessarily to the reading. Um, but there is a very strong message about indecision on the path in the past on this person's part perhaps it's mirrored so you'll have to take it as it resonates but somebody in this connection didn't act upon their very intense feelings in the past because the chariot talks about very intense emotions i've made a decision i'm about to charge into it but i just took too long i had my eye on the prize i was focused on it i knew what i wanted but i just it's like i, I took too long and my inability to act caused you to perhaps walk away from it because it was just taking too long to pursue. It was taking too long to envision for ourselves. And so there is this essence too that after it was disconnected, I don't know if you automatically were with someone else or you started dating someone else or you started building a foundation with someone else because immediately they feel like they were thrust into this situation of like, I didn't expect to lose my opportunity that quickly, even though it really did take them a long time to kind of make a move or, or make their intentions known. They didn't do it in a timely enough manner for you and you walked away. You walked away from the weight that was being required of you here to see something in this connection. Even if it was very intense, somebody got very frustrated and walked away and I feel like you immediately got into a new situation or you started building a foundation because I keep thinking, or well, there's the three of pentacles it's immediate, an immediate sense of jealousy. It's a burden upon me because I know that it was my actions here. I know that I should have acted quicker in the past. And I mean, in a, the past pile, you know, in pile number two, it's a similar vibe, like taking responsibility for, for the disconnect, but it's a much less, that pile was a lot more kind of embroiled in dishonesty. But this person just, it makes me feel like my insecurities, I was feeling a lot of intensity towards you, but that I was trying to build myself up for it. I thought I had more time and I took that time for granted. And now in this disconnect, you know, the Virgo energy, this deep thought, this deep contemplation that they've had over this connection, they do feel like they're waiting it out. <laughs> it's like they're waiting it out to see if this secure foundation perhaps that you've made for yourself and I do feel some of there's the queen of pentacles some of you are already in a family some of you are very secure in a relationship in your situation you're very secure and so now it's it's almost the sense of I have to wear a mask during the duration of this connection like I have to wear a mask while they are off making their foundation and and building up their life the Six of Wands, it talks about victory. You can see it says, you know, she's a very victorious person. But it always struck me strange that, you know, the Six is dabbed right between the Five and the Seven of Wands, which is all of these obstacles that we have to push through. And it's, you know, sort of about us charging ourselves up, preparing ourselves up to push through battle. There is a sad message coming through, too, that they feel like they're going to have to maintain this for the rest of their life. That because you are solid here, they do not want, they will, look at them looking at you from afar. They, their feelings for you are intense enough that they don't want to mess this up for you. And they don't want to do anything that shakes this happy smile from this queen of pentacles throne. And the, she, I think there's children involved for some of you as well. That's a big um, concern for them. Even though they identify as their your divine masculine, we have the king and queen present. They identify as your divine masculine, but they are. It's sad because it's like they're 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 walking away because they they know it's not serving their feelings and and revealing it now is not serving your situation. I almost feel like I could cry because it's a very selfless type of mentality that they're having. Like their feelings haven't gone anywhere. And they recognize that it was their actions that like their inaction that led to this situation. But they respect the position you're in, if that makes sense. They respect the relationship that you're in. If you're in one, they respect the position that has made you so happy and secure. And, and, you know, they want that closure back of the deck is the two of wands about unfinished plans. They want that closure. 
but they're they are willing to wait for it if it means you know and they're there's the three of wands them you know maintaining a distance keeping a watchful eye on you perhaps maintaining a distance and, and having a hopeful heart about it but respecting the situation that you're in it's it's a very sad type of energy though let's get some how are they feeling right this moment how are they feeling about you right this moment we have the eight of wands How are they feeling right this moment, please? The Four of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. The Ten of, of Cups. We do have the Seven of Pentacles on the back of the deck with the Seven of Wands. That patience to push through this obstacle. It's like a sense of wait. It's like, I will wait. Um, there is another message coming through that for some of you, this person has actually, um, started life of their own as well during this period of disconnect here. But it's interesting to me here that their indecision in the past has now resulted in them feeling the need in life to really speak their truth right away. They feel a need to, and that's a beautiful lesson that honestly, this connection has taught them is to speak their truth in a more timely fashion. And the Eight of Wands does talk about inspired thought. It does talk about fire and, and the desire to communicate with you. And that is still very intense inside of them. But that Four of Pentacles, again, that respect for the family unit, for something that they've built up, for something you've built up, it could be very mirrored here. It makes them very jealous and they feel like they have no right to be jealous, especially if they are in a mirrored situation. But it's like, it is what it is. I'm jealous of your position. I'm jealous of this situation that we find ourselves in. I'm jealous that another person gets your attention, gets your affection. There's a real, um, and that's, they recognize it's an immature attitude to have and they're working on it. <laughs> I feel they're working on it. It's an obstacle that we have to kind of overcome as human beings here is this feeling of desire for things that we don't feel are ours right now. There is this beautiful message here though. And you know, we have the King of Pentacles who is sitting here in a very secure position in the future position but it's a tangible security that sort of is sort of full circle from where they started from is wanting to maintain my 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 security not wanting to risk something but here is where their vulnerability lies this ten of cups is that emotional abundance they feel towards you and that acknowledgement that that isn't going anywhere and that they want to transform this they just don't know how to get there yet. And you guys have been through a lot, even the 10 of, you know, I'm looking at that, that butterfly. And I know I say it a lot about, you know, we fail to acknowledge what the butterfly has gone through to attain this beauty. Just like Maya Angelou says, we fail to acknowledge that. And this person is kind of thrust in the middle of that acknowledgement. Like I am acknowledging what it would take for us to transform. And it might be at the cost of something that you're really really solid in again there could this message of children which is again part of the huge reason why they are waiting and why they're so keen on stepping back because of that admission let's get some messages from them in a moment how are they currently feeling deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship in their life could be very mirrored the two of you could be mirroring masks you know this appearances can be deceiving um for some of you you're very secure in a tangible way but emotionally you guys are still stuck on this king too it's a very um tough situation because we can feel very comfortable and feel confident in that but we know that our emotions lay elsewhere um, we do have past life you have known each other before and we do have separation time from your part is partner is on the horizon because there's kind of no end in sight here to this yet it is sort of about us acknowledging that we are in this position as well and that we have again in many cases very happy in this position but still there's an acknowledgement of my emotional happiness laying elsewhere take that as it resonates what does this 
person wish they could see? How are they currently feeling? <laughs> Very, <laughs> they fantasize about you. <laughs> It sort of gets them through. It also kind of fuels the flame inside of them, though, adds to that intensity um, that this Five of Wands, this Ten of Wands is, adds to that burden a little bit. Because I, I feel in a lot of cases here, this person never got the opportunity to take it to that place. And so that's been something, um, they've never been able to put that wand down. You are right. <laughs> I want you to choose if you are in a position where you're very solid. They're saying, I, I wish that you would come to work. They're not willing to come and, and shake that up, but if it was your decision, they would be um, totally done. <laughs> you are so beautiful. Why do you need me? Putting you up on that pedestal. think so yes and you know what it's funny that this card is coming up over this knight of pentacles because the knight is such a slow moving energy and when i look at this card i think so yes it's like i'm hesitating i'm hesitating but that type of mentality that hesitation is what cost them in the past in this connection wait <laughs> they're willing to wait for you and in secrecy as well i should say i'm too afraid to talk to you I want you to be the one to choose. I want you to be the one. So they have, you know, they're trying to grow, but they have maintained some of those insecurities. I hope you'll wait for me. And it's a number three. Um, I think of sometimes third party here with that number three as well. We have let me have you on the back of the deck. Um, very secrecy, <laughs> kind of uh, secret energy, kind of getting away with something that maybe doesn't 100% belong to me. Would they say if they could say anything to you right this moment? I really hate not communicating as much as I want to. I have been manifesting our connection. I never meant to hurt you. It wasn't you. It was me. And I've been hurting without you. You have no idea. Back of the deck says, I've been expanding my spiritual knowledge. So for some of you, because of this connection and because of their intensity of how they feel, it's encouraged them to delve deeper into the spiritual realm, which is a beautiful byproduct um, of this connection. I miss you terribly. Do you miss me? I know that I messed up. I know I messed up back then. And they want you to know, I'm trying to get it away from this one. Um, my life is in chaos right now. And I'm stuck. I'm feeling stuck right now. They could be stuck in some sort of karmic connection. Or it could be financial as well. We are not the same. We are not on the same level. I don't deserve you. I thought that was a two sided card. It's not. Forgive me. I want to have a family with you. And, you know, we had that Ten of Cups, which is about family units, the desire for their emotional beginnings or the emotional abundance to lay with you. I pretend I don't care, but I do. Oh, two of them. That smile, though. I'm afraid you won't like the person that I've become. The back of the deck says, I have been dreaming of you. Let's get a charm bowl for you, group three. Charm bowl for group number three, please. How is this person currently feeling? What's the purpose of this connection or this disconnection? Oh. The king of pentacles again, the nine of wands and the eight of wands. It amazes me sometimes with that King of Pentacles. He's so secure in his position, but it's such a tangible place. You know, he he screams Taurus to me, and sometimes Taurus is, my sister's a Taurus, she can be a little stubborn. 
um, and refusing to kind of bend and refusing to, to maybe risk some of my ego in order to pursue what I want. But all that's created inside of them is this firestorm of desire with these wands, the eight of wands, the nine of wands, and they're feeling a little bit worse for the wear. They're aware that they're, their weight, their fears perhaps caused this. It's like a firestorm that they created themselves. Whoopsie daisy, sorry. <laughs> I have the letter T, I have the letter I, the letter V, and the letter P in the bowl. We have a snowflake, it's kind of broken up this little snowflake charm. So there could have been a disconnect in winter time or in the one of the months in winter is when this could have disconnected. We have these steps here. I always think about marriage or stepping stones or ascension. We have the Eiffel Tower also taking things to another level as well if they were a friend um, we have will we have a commandment from the bible that says i shall not bear false witness i will not lie we have the cross in the box in the in the bowl <laughs> cross in the box we have a cross in the bowl um, so there could be um, a very strong um, christianity connection as well and we also have the saw the hand saw it's like a slow pain a painful, slow separation. All right, group number three, that is what I have for you. Um, if this resonated, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to join this community of ours and subscribe to this channel. Please hit the notification and the um, like button. I already said that. <laughs> and if you leave me a comment, you will automatically be entered if you are a subscriber to um, win a free reading with me. I'm going to be pulling names on a monthly basis for that. So be sure to press your notification bell if you comment and would like a free reading or a chance to win one. Um, but otherwise, I hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.